Well, one group in Bemidji is working to salvage a piece of Bemidji history. Members of Old Bemidji High School Remembered are working on a project to restore a part of the old high school that was demolished four years ago. With this week's Community Spotlight, Lacey Montelion has more on why restoring a part of the old building is so important. To the untrained eye, this may just look like a lot of bricks, but to these volunteers, it's a part of Bemidji history. When we learned that the old Bemidji High School was about to be demolished, um, we got a group together who expressed interest in salvaging at least part of it, and um, we got permission from Bemidji State College alumni to, to salvage at least one entryway, but we had a time frame of three days. With the help of former classmates and volunteers, they succeeded. Yet the pieces of the archway have been sitting in this pole barn ever since. That is, until now. The design team for the city came up with this, uh, with a master plan, showing it as an entryway into the labyrinth. And that just really recharged our energies. The group that calls themselves Old Bemidji High School Remembered is now working to figure out which pieces of the old archway need to be repaired and which will have to be replaced. When we took it down, we took pictures of everything. All the blocks are numbered. So they should go back in reverse order of the way they came down. Now all of the pallets you see behind me were stacked high in a pole barn. Organizers say this project would have been almost impossible without the help of volunteers. We took people who had no knowledge of anything but had this intense desire to preserve a piece of history important to us. For Sharon Frutel, preserving a piece of the building is very important. When this build, the old building, the old high school was demolished, there was so much sadness and so much nostalgia. Frutel is not short on memories of her old high school, like playing in the high school band or going to football games and her high school classes. I remember there was a student who sat behind me in that class who, who struggled more with academics, but he was a very tall boy and he would try to hunker down behind me so he couldn't be seen so the teacher wouldn't call on him. It will still be a long time before the archway can find its place in South Shore Park, but it's something this group is still working towards. We think it's going to be a, a beautiful reconstruction that uh, people will even want to have their photographs taken by, maybe even wedding photos or graduation photos. So future generations will be able to pass through this archway that already holds so many memories. With this week's Community Spotlight, Lacey Montalion, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.